Hi, this is question 3 from the AQA Mechanics 1B January 2013 paper. Um, this question is saying that a box of mass 3 kilograms is placed on a rough slope inclined at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal. It is released from rest and slides down the slope. So we want to draw a diagram to show the forces acting on the box first of all. So um, if I draw a nice and big diagram, there we go, so there's our slope and I've got a box on my slope and we've got an angle of 40 degrees here we have got the forces acting on the slope so we're going to have the weight of the box which is going to be acting directly downwards and because it's got a mass of three kilograms um, it's going to have a, a weight of three times by gravity so I'll write that as 3g and I'm also going to have a reaction force which is going to be perpendicular to the plane so there's my reaction force there and I've also got, because it's a uh, rough slope, there must be some friction involved. So I'm going to mark on in this direction. So I'm going to mark on my frictional force here. And I'm just going to mark on my direction of motion. I'm going to have an acceleration that's going to be acting in that direction there. And obviously the frictional force is going away from that. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that a little bit smaller, stick it over there, out of the way. And um, we can now move on to part B. Okay, so there's my part A over there. Part B wants us to find the magnitude of the normal reaction force acting on the box. So we want the magnitude of that force there so um, we're going to resolve this perpendicular to the plane now um, perpendicular to the plane um, there isn't any motion so it's going to be in equilibrium so if I just what we want to know is um, what comp how much of that 3g is acting perpendicular to the plane because we've got an angle of 40 degrees here that means we're also going to have an angle of 40 degrees here. So my equation is going to be the reaction force. And because it's in equilibrium, it's going to have to be equal to what's going on in, in this direction here. So it's going to be equal to 3g, which is the weight. But I need to times that by cos 40, so it's going to be 3g of 40 degrees so using my calculator I can work that out and that's going to be to three significant figures 22.5 newtons okay for part C um, we need to find the coefficient of friction between the box and the slope sorry we're told that the coefficient of friction between the box and the slope is 0.2 we want to find the magnitude of the friction force acting on the box. So um, I'm going to write down that the frictional force, is, and because there is motion there, um, it's going to be at its maximum. Um, so it's going to be mu times by the reaction force. Okay, so um, we know what the reaction force is from this question here, and we know that mu is our coefficient of friction is 0.2, so it's just a simple case of saying that our frictional force is going to be 0.2 times by 22.5. And although I've written 22.5, I'm going to use 3g cos 40 um, to get a more accurate answer and um, that's going to be equal to put that into your calculator you get 4.50
newtons. Um, so that's going to be the magnitude of the frictional force. Part D says find the acceleration of the box. Okay, so um, our acceleration is acting downwards and um, we've got a frictional force acting that way and we've got um, some component of the weight that's going to be acting down the slope. So if I resolve it parallel to the slope, I'm going to get and and this is going to be my positive direction because that's the direction of motion. So I'm going to have and um, we had 3g cos 40 there. This is going to be 3g sine 40. So start by saying f equals m a, and we've got 3g sine. 40 and I take away my frictional force so I'm going to take away 4.5 and that's going to be equal to um, the mass which is 3 times by the acceleration ok so I've used Newton second law here um, we found the net force um, and that's equal to mass times by acceleration so if you stick that into your calculator you get 14.4 is equal to mass times acceleration um, which means the acceleration is going to be 4.80 meters per second per second okay now for part E, it's asking us to um, state an assumption that you have made about the forces acting on the box. There's quite a few assumptions we've made. We've assumed that the friction on the um, plane is the same all the way through. We've assumed that there aren't any other forces acting on the box at all. Um, and we've assumed that there's no air resistance. Um, and that's one I'm going to go with. We only need to say one assumption, so I'm going to say um, no air resistance. That's an assumption that we've made. Okay, and um, there you go. Thank you.